I, you know, something that popped in my mind when you said that was what we say about keeping your keeping your work and your personal uh, kind of traffic and accounts separate. Yeah. Well, that brings pops in my head. How many people who may be listening use the same password for home stuff that they do at work? Yes. So now uh, jumping on the whole password bandwagon of uh, should never reuse passwords. Uh, that doesn't cost you anything. Uh, if you need to keep up with the different passwords for different sites, there's password keepers that you can get for your phone. Uh, there's also uh, LastPass or 1Password uh, we've talked about before. Uh, but the idea is that if something happens at home or if you, you know, you're signed into some website where you buy something online and they get breached, that password gets stolen with your email address and now they can associate that with your place of work. And if the password's the same, you just gave them a door. So don't ever reuse passwords between sites, uh, especially between work and personal. And then password you choose. Um, I've talked about this before, but there's a website called haveibeenpawned.com that lets you check to see if the password you want to use has been seen in breach data before. So before you choose a password to use, check it to see if it's already out there. Uh, the reason being the bad guys buy those password lists or can get them for free and use them for password spraying attacks. Um, it's very easy to go out to a site like that and say, give me the top 100 most used passwords in the world. And uh, hackers will use those to try. So don't reuse passwords. Make sure your passwords haven't been seen in breaches before and that website that, that's free. Uh, and that's have I been uh, .com. You can search for that. That's uh, uh, P W N E D 